In this video, I'm going to share with you another reason as to why I believe that the uh, cover six is one of the better defenses in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, I just wanted to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free um, to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day. Now, uh, I've talked a lot about match defense on my YouTube channel, and um, it's one of my favorite ways to play in Madden 22. However, uh, one of the things that is really, really, really popular at this point in the season is um, the, the use of zone drops, and in particularly, people have kind of gotten to a point where they're able to beat a lot of match coverage. And so I wanted to do a video today discussing the cover six. Now, this is the only match coverage that you will find in the dollar three two six. It's awesome. actually the only match coverage you'll find in a lot of formations, um, kind of like this. You, there's not a cover four quarters. There's not a cover four palms. There's only a cover six. And so, uh, what I wanted to do was jump back over here to the nickel normal. And again, I just wanted to walk you through why this defense is so good. You might not know that this exists in the game. This is something new that they put in the game this year that has actually um, significantly improved how good the cover six is. And to be honest with you, cover six is actually one of the most popular uh, defenses in the real NFL. It's quarter, quarter, half. And again, you see the Rams run this a lot and a lot of defenses um, out of the Fangio coaching tree run this defense a lot. So. Uh, what is cover six? Well, it's basically quarters on one side and cover two on another side. However, like I said, it's it's really quarter, quarter, half. And in this year's game, they have really improved the ability of the quarter of the half zone out of the cover six to play trip sets really, really well. OK, so I'm just going to come out in a basic cover two sink, um, which is the cover two, <coughs> excuse me, match version. And. Um, I'm going to run a skinny post from the bunch and what you'll see here is if I were to run a kind of a route combination like this um, essentially bunch trail if you will let me see if I can get my skinny post on the white not being put on the field there you see so something like this kind of a match um, or a, a cover two killer right um, this is something that you can use um, that is really good against cover two sink you got the wheel to pull that soft squat and then what you see here is you see that that route gets wide open against cover two. Now, why is cover six so valuable? Well, cover six is so valuable because if I were to run that same exact route combination, I'm not gonna do anything different um, in terms of my routes. So I'll show you the play art here. And now I'm in cover six. So I'll show you my play art over here. What you'll notice, and I'm just gonna spy my alignment just so we don't get any, any um, sheds. You'll see that this deep half on the left side does a really, really good job at matching this up the skinny, up the skinny and playing the quote unquote bunch trail post route. Okay. But I wanted to take this concept a step farther with um, something that, you know, not a lot of people know. And I don't think a lot of people, I definitely know that a, a lot of people don't use this because the best way to beat cover two in this game is with a skinny post right that's the best way to beat uh cover two and in fact really the best way to beat um any coverage is with a skinny post issue so where this defense comes in is this is how we can use a zone drop based defense so you see here i'm actually going to put my flats on 30 my curl flats on 10 and my hooks on five and i'm actually going to come out in the cover six and what you're going to notice and i'll show this um, i'm just going to come out in z spot i'll show this first with a cover two in cover two coverages, what we can easily do is we can drop, you know, maybe drop a D end and a linebacker in a purple zone. Now, the problem is our user can get caught because our user is going to be trying to use her the underneath and at the same time being able to use her the over the top. And so you might get a route combo that looks something like this um, if they know you're in a cover two defense. And what you'll see is that if it's a cover two, that means that the deep half is basically going to uh, allow that post to split the seam. It's one of the main reasons why you see a lot of people take a linebacker out of a cover two and put him into the deep third so that they don't get burned over the top. Well, what's really cool about cover six is if I audible to cover six, you're going to notice 
that I'm not I'm still gonna be using on the D line and we're still gonna technically drop eight. What what I would probably honestly do is probably shade my coverage down, put this guy in a bluff blitz right here, and then take this guy and put him in a curl flat. So now I'm gonna be able to just blitz these two guys here, blitz my user, probably user this guy, um, you know, and be able to cover a lot of stuff. Uh, but again, we're just trying to focus on the post. And what you'll see with this is now the skinny post on the left. Um, should get open because again, I'm in cover two, right? I'm in, I'm in a basic cover two coverage and, and, and even more so I could take this guy here and, you know, do whatever I want with him. There's really not, doesn't need an inside quarter, but what you'll notice with cover six is you still get this matching principle from that safety on the left side. So you no longer have to really worry about a deep skinny post burning your coverage in a cover six it's one of the real cool things that makes the cover six so so powerful is that we can actually create a mabel look or really whatever look you want so for example now this is not the same thing as saying well how does this play the corner route to the r1 receiver what if you take a look here you're going to notice that the corner route it really is kind of open it's kind of there okay so a very simple strategy that you can use um, is, is maybe a baseline type look, something like this. And because we don't have to worry about the skinny post, we can actually recreate a cover too. So it looks something like this right here where we have the purple. And then on the right side, um, you could feel free to curl flat the defensive end on the right. Or you could bluff blitz him. So that he'll play the running back and then you could you know do something like this uh vert hook so you have a vert hook you've got a double mabel on both sides you've got the three wreck and guess what if they don't if they run a skinny post you have no responsibility for that skinny post so a lot of times people will do this out of the place smash return they'll skinny post this guy you'll maybe get a slant here and then um, kind of a running back route. What you'll see is this allows your user now to be able to stay underneath. You literally have no responsibility deep and you see that skinny post is still completely bagged by this coverage. So if you're looking to kind of run a little bit of match, maybe a little bit of zone drops, want something different, try out this coverage. You can find this coverage in, of course, nickel normal. Um, you can also find this coverage in some of the best defenses in the game, like Dollar or Dime 236 Will or 335 Odd or 245 Odd or Nickel Triple. Some of those defenses that a lot of people sleep on because that deep half zone is probably one of the best zones in the game this year for defending the skinny post. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn how I like to run my match defensive scheme, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to my Patreon where you can join it. For just $10 a month, you're going to get access to not only my match ebook, but you can access to all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, we're actually updating things every single week in the membership as well. So that way you always know what the best tactics are in the community. I want to thank you for watching the video again. And if you want to sign up for our Patreon, head on down to the description below and click the link that I put down there for you.